Now we're doing custom database part two, learning how to use uh, the Greater Commons database Goa. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Goa plugin. Plugin. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's so there's two more advanced and complicated bits to database, which are conveniences. Okay. So you don't actually need them to do anything with the database, but they save on a lot of code. So the first one is, um, I think we'll start off with uh, implement. Let me find that. Implement. So implement. Um, you can use the implement function, and you can pass in a Goa media type. Okay. And it will copy every attribute from that media type and make fields. So super time saver. Yeah. So, um, for example, if I go back to, um, let's go back to team because it's got a short database stuff, design database. Um, I've got a, I, I need to, I've got my team media type here with a bunch of attributes. I need to save them all in the database. So I said, I've got my team table here and I say it implements team media. Nice. And where, let me see the team media defined. So, so media, all those fields so, so there ID, automatically get name, logo ID. Set up. So all of those just automatically get copied over as fields. Nice. So if you've got a field that has the exact same name as one of the attributes, the field will overwrite it. Yeah. Whether implement is before the field or after the field, the 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 one that's okay, in the so table. Okay. So watch out for that. The, the the one the one that's in the table wins either okay. way. Okay. Okay. So that's that's most often used for the ID because you need to specify that oh, that's yeah. a key field. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, most of the time, so most of the time so you'll that's see that's that's a good thing. Yeah, so most of the time you'll see a one field ID and then you'll see an implement. Yeah. Um, you may also put in an uh, any amount of field uh, attributes that you do not want copied in. Okay, so those are don't bring them. So yeah, these are so so for example, you've got the logo ID in there but you don't need the URL because you can get the URL from the ID. Okay. So, so you don't need the URL in the database. Cool. Um, like most implements don't use that. The, they'll just copy everything. Yeah, but, that's very nice. I like that a lot. That's yeah. not complicated. That's so, so, beautiful. So yeah, the, the, the hard bit is just remembering the this means don't bring this yeah. in. Yeah, um, so, really so nice. that's that. Really um, nice, Daniel. So the other... Um, one is converts. So you say converts, and this will have uh, an amount of either convert to and convert from uh, in there. So if you say convert to and you pass in a media type, uh, it will create a function which takes in a database.team and returns that type. So since team media is a, so since team is a team uh, has everything in team media, I can convert to a team media, and it will create it'll have a it'll create a converter function to convert from one from the one struct type to the other struct type. Okay, I feel like I need to know more about Go to understand that. So, so this is a struct. Yes, yeah. it's, it's somewhere in the. Let me uh, see if I can pull it open. Uh, team media. Okay, a, there it is. It's a struct. Awesome. So yeah, here's the struct. Yep, got it. And those those fields here on the right match these fields: ID, uh, name, yeah, ID, ID name, ID, logo ID, ID, logo ID, logo URL, name, user role, user role. So those match, right? So, yeah, so that's the Go are, code. So that, that's so yeah, that's a there's perfect There's the match. Go code. Um, and then over here in database team.go, this matches this one. So you got ID, and then you've got everything from team media except for these fields. Yeah. So logo ID and name. Cool. So ID, logo ID, name, yeah. and does not have is owner, yeah. uh, logo URL, or yeah. user role are not yeah. are not over here. Yeah. Um, so is this the code that was generated yes. by Goa? So yeah. the what's on the right was generated by what's on the left. Yeah. Cool. So so yeah, this little thing here uh, generated this entire. Uh, and when file. does Goa just like anecdotally like the question that arises for me is when does Goa generate that code? Is that when we use the bootstrapper and build everything? It goes through yeah. and looks at all the Go and then yes, writes all that Go code. Yes, that, that, that's part Goa. of da that's part of dash m is yeah. it, it goes through and, yeah. and runs Goa and then just builds all those files right off. Yeah. So when you're writing the code for Greater Commons, you're actually just writing Goa 
most of the time. So for, for any kind of endpoint, a lot yeah. of the time I'm doing yeah. that, and yeah. then I and then I write go for the actual like how to what actually do this thing. Yeah, you, what do you write the go for? Uh, actually doing a resource. So uh, like this create this create team oh, resource okay. that the code that actually like creates the team. Okay. So so in any case, um, so yeah, implement here it has this struct, um, and then because I say converts to team media. It created a uh, function here, team to team media. It takes in team, which is this struct here, okay. and it returns uh, app dot media, which is this struct here, which is what you need to return back to your whoever called you. Um, and all it does is it's creating. It just copies over everything with an identical name. And can we talk about just randomly, anecdotally, tangentially, mm -hmm. pointers? Are you sending back the pointer because you just want to pass the address and not pass all the data just to keep things lighter? Um, like why did you choose pointer on that? Or you want it to be uh, mutable or why did you choose? So this is a pointer because it needs to be, because uh, it's lighter. Um, so just to pass the address instead and, of all the data. And, and that's actually how Goa does it too. So okay. it's to, to match Goa and this spoke okay. more specifically. Okay. Uh, for the stuff in database itself, it's because to make it lighter. Uh, so like this one's not that big, but right. say yeah. user was yeah. massive. Yeah, okay. Um, so what this does is it anything that's got an identical name uh, is just copied. So this ID matches ID here, okay. so it just create, so it just copied it. Okay. Or logo ID matches, um, and for example, logo ID is not required. So uh, in the database, it's all just values. Okay. But in uh, in in Goa's media type, some of them are pointers. So automatically it's determined. Oh, it's not required. So take the address of it. Okay. Um, so this is a pretty simple, short and simple one, but again, if you got something like user, where it's yeah. got like 20 different fields, it's nice yeah. to have a function to just automatically convert from database type to uh, uh, output type. Yeah. Um, so besides convert to, it also supports convert from, if you're to, so you can convert from the create team params into a team. So again, it's just a direct match. If the name, if the field name matches the attribute name, it'll just co it'll copy it directly over. Um, so again, this is most helpful for. Um, let me try pulling open uh, user design database, and then say uh, user database user. So like here's the user struct in the database. Yeah. Um, and then if I find, say, uh, let's see, where's the user2 login? Here, are user2 user admin. Big thing. Yeah. Or say... Uh, why did some of those, tell me again why some of those became, uh, you took the address? Uh, because they're not required in the uh, output type. So well, why take the address if it's not required? Oh, it's so, never required in the output type, so... So, so yeah. So if it's not required, if, if it's not required in an, in the output type, it's a pointer. Okay. But database does not have pointers ever. Okay. All right. I'm not totally clear on that. I'm literally having a little bit of a hard time <laughs> processing because I've uh, slept yeah. sleep deprived, but I'm, I've yeah. gotten like 99% of this. That one's missing me a little bit. That's fine. Yeah. So, so basically you, you do this convert thing to con because the database struct is a separate type from yeah. the uh, structs that you're getting as input and output from the user. Yeah. The converts thing lets you create convenience functions, which will just copy anything with the same name between the two types. Okay. And then if you've got any extra fields, like you didn't implement something, you can then manually fill in just those fields yeah. instead of having to copy over everything. Yeah. All right, I hope you're getting that. My <laughs> mind's crashing. <laughs> yeah. So like I said, this is, that's one of the more, com it's complicated. It's also convenience, and you don't have to use yeah. it. So I use it because, again, I've got field, I got structs like yeah, this. Yeah, look at all that stuff it built for you. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to write that myself. Right. So much easier just to say on my user table, I want to be able to convert to a user. Yeah. Yeah, so it just converts it. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to grok that so, a little bit. And it will, it'll, if... The convert to will generate a function for each um, view. So, like here, this one is is from the user database type to the user admin view. 
and then here's from user to the default user view. So and user to the owner user view. So why would you use that function user to user owner? Uh, because because Goa defines them as separate types. Okay. So. So, so oh, now they're separate types. So in Goa, when you need to use that type, it's available. Yeah. So, oh, got it. So users. Oh, is that three, connected to three. views? Yeah. So, so I've got three views for users, but it's only got one database table. So, oh, so the one database oh, table has oh, three functions to convert. Right. So you have those different views for you have the user table in the database, and you have views on those. Like views are normal in databases. Yeah. Give me a view of the data. Give me a view of the data. Give me a view of the data. Yeah. And, uh, and then to get those views to work with Goa, you actually need a type. And so you're saying, okay, we got user, now convert it to these types so that Goa can use those types to get that view. Yes. Did I say that right? Yes. Rewind that and play it if you're foggy <laughs> like I was until just a moment ago. I'll have to rewind that and play it because even though yeah, I just yeah. said it, I'm like, wait a minute, what did I just say? That's cool. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's, that's help, cool. complicated to explain, but Yeah, helpful. that's cool. That's too, totally cool. Right on, man. Good job. Yep. And so that's that's it for the design of a database. Yeah. So fields, queries, and then convenient, and then implement and converts for convenience. Yeah, that's awesome. Great job. Thank you. Yeah, he's thought of this all on his own, like reading, putting it together. And I kid you not, this is the first time that I've seen this code with you. Yeah. And uh, so, and it's so. just crazy to I mean it's mm -hmm. it's kind of it's been surprising to me just like it's crazy to build a business, mm -hmm. um, you know because if you don't have the money to just like put the money into it hire the people and then just like I've got the money so I could just when I work I work on that like you gotta like bootstrap and scrap and we've mm -hmm. been running on gas fumes <laughs> you know all of us here and then it's like i've got my full-time job and family job mm -hmm. and you know and then like okay get to it when i can and so daniel's been like you've been back in and i've just been like do a good job <laughs> i don't know I, don't, I just don't have the time mm -hmm. creating mm -hmm. courses you know i'm doing the create courses side of it trying to find teachers yeah so this is a this has been really cool for me to see it mm -hmm. and i'm also excited that i understand it yeah I've come a little ways. Yeah. Interfaces still throw me and loop me a little bit, like how do you actually use them in building stuff, but yeah. it's awesome, man. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. you got more to say on that? Or are we ready to move to the next one? Is there going to be another one? So that's that's it for uh, Goa, I think, entirely, for, oh, the, good. for the design end of Goa. Good, good. You know, just speaking to like how much there is to do with mm -hmm. building a business, like we're recording these videos and then you're going to say, okay, and I'll be like, man, thanks for working late, Daniel. We got these videos done. And then there's people who want to help contribute to Greater Commons. I said, we'll get them the videos today. So uh, you'll take off and then I'll, I'll probably just tell Jess, you know, tell Jess, I can't, I'm going to mm -hmm. work and then just sit here and edit until mm -hmm. I get all these done. And then I got to get Kim's courses. Uh, mm -hmm. No, sorry. Uh, Nancy's course with the trailer for for mm -hmm. YouTube, get those edited. And then there's like, I've been trying to do that personal vlog a little bit because mm -hmm. it's fun for yeah. me and you know, it's I've just been finding it easy. Like, well, let me tell you about this now. Yeah. And uh, you know, and there's a couple of those I want to do and then push all that to YouTube and then mm -hmm. call it a night. Yeah. Not yeah, to mention all to the do. other stuff that's yeah. on my plate. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I've got other items for work and family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Anyhow, that's just an uh, anecdote of like how crazy hard it is to actually start a company. A lot to do all over the place. It takes lots of different specializations. Yeah, it does. It's a big job. I think we've done a really good job so far. Yeah. You know, we for for mm -hmm. the we're we're on a football field where mm -hmm. there's normally 12 or 120 players and you know, for five people. Yeah. Done a good job. Yeah. Nice work. All right, nothing more to say about that. Maybe nope. we'll have another one. Maybe we'll call it a wrap. We'll see.